in two ways about it, whether you agree or not, or disagree, you know, whichever way you look at it. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been very lucrative for the streaming giant Netflix. As I've told you before, you know, every time they're mentioned, it reminds people that they are the biggest streaming service. You know, you can have Paramount Plus, Hula, Disney, all of those sort of things. But everybody, particularly someone like myself, who doesn't understand the streaming world, you think, oh, I've heard of Netflix. Truthfully, I don't really think there's anything on there that I'd want to watch, you know, particularly as you have to pay for it, as many people know, who watch this channel, not keen on snapping open that wallet, particularly in a cost of living crisis. And when there's so much free stuff on YouTube, why would you bother? That's why I like to keep this channel totally free for you. But what's interesting here, I find, about this particular development is, as we told you recently, Harry and Meghan, it's not all signed and sealed, you know, with Netflix. The bottom line is, new developments are happening, and this could be catastrophic, to coin a phrase, for the ex-royal duo. Let me explain. Nice to see you. How are you? Yes. Quick wave while we're out here. People are looking at you like you're a lunatic. There's a bunch of people there. They look at you as if he's talking to himself, just ignoring him. It's all right, I've ignored them. Yeah. We like to, well, there's nothing wrong with talking to yourself. Do you talk to, I talk to myself all the time. Yes, you do though. I, de I deny anybody who says they don't. You know when you can't find things and you put it down, you think now, where did I put that? Isn't that talking to yourself? Nothing wrong with it. You're not going potty. I think we all do it. Yes, I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Back as ever to your breaking world story of the day. Earlier this year, the Invictus Games was the comeback of comebacks, wasn't it? For Meghan and Harry, even though she kind of spoiled some people, suggested most of it by marching out in front, giving medals, turning up late after delivering milkshakes, etc. Uh, for her children, all about Meghan, as you'll note. Very expensive wardrobe, all that sort of stuff. But what I find interesting about that particular sort of element is really this, and this is now going to be a problem, for Netflix. You see, the heart of Invictus was this big documentary and it was going to be the thing, you know. But a lot of people felt that Prince Harry had hijacked it, twittering on about his own personal problems once again, when it should have been more about the people. The bits I did see I thought were inspiring and as I said to you before, these are wonderful, brave, literally great, inspiring people. No two ways about it. But it's a business, you know, that is the problem. It is a business. And when you look at what Harry and Meghan delivered before, which was, of course, their docu-series, and that was very successful. Even though it doesn't scrape the sides of what Netflix have already paid out to Harry and Meghan, I think Spotify, they're not getting their money back now. They'll never make a return, so you just have to write it off. But you see, ongoing, Harry thought that there was going to be another, you know, docu-series, documentary all about Invictus, particularly the one next year. But you see, the problem is they cost a lot of money. As I've told you before, Harry and Meghan are not TV producers. They're just front people, you know, they put their name at the end as executive producers. It costs a big people you see, they're just front people. They put their name at the end of the credits as executive producers. Now, Netflix are wondering exactly how valuable will the heart of Invictus be? I'm not saying it's not been successful, but it's nowhere near the level of success to get a return, allegedly. And the bottom line now is who's going to break this to Prince Harry? Insiders tell me at Netflix that this is an ongoing debate as they look at their next raft of shows to see which they're going to recommission, accept, or indeed renegotiate certain contracts to. I think on a personal level, it would be a shame if they didn't continue with this because it would be nice for these people to have a voice, a vision out in the wider world. And if not Netflix, then perhaps another particular TV giant could take it on. But either way, it's a difficult time. You can't say that's Harry and Meghan. You can't say that's Netflix. It's simply business. But the bottom line is, it's all about business. A world that Harry and Meghan truly know nothing about. It's a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean, in the very heart of London.